Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be for the 11th to the 17th of October 2021. So let's see what we have for you Libra as an overarching energy. Remember this is for seven days only. And it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always. We have, oh, <laughs> I like that one. We have Rabbit Spirit, now is a lucky time. Number 49. Now is a lucky time. <laughs> Love that energy. Okay, let's see what else we have. What do we have for Libra, please? Message for Libra. Message for Libra. Okay, thank you. So we have some compromise will be needed and that will be needed in the near future so i'm doing this for seven days could be a bit longer than that but we do have compromise will be needed in the near future but it's all to do with luck and it's recognizing the luck when it appears i feel you need to be aware It's almost like you, you, whether you, I mean, I'm just giving you an example and I'm saying it because I'm getting the message. There is definitely an energy here of you might be, for example, some of you might be offered something, but you might not see it as a good thing. And the message is it's a really good deal. I mean, that could be in terms of anything, you know, buying something or, you know, being offered something in some way. You might get a really good deal here. Okay, message for Libra, the sun, happiness, joy, good news, celebration. Oh, I've got the death card reversed. I don't, I don't have reversals in this card, this deck, but it's come out reversed in the challenge position. Oh my goodness, Libra, I've got the tower. Let's see what that is about. And we have the Seven of Wands. So certainly you being in your power here. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Message for Libra. Message for Libra. Message for Libra, please. Thank you. Four of Cups. Okay, we have the Tower and the Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. Let's clarify the Sun. Clarify the Sun, please, for our lovely Librans, thank you. Clarify the Sun. Clarify the sun. Four of coins. Seven of cups. Clarify this death card reversed. This is, um, I feel this is an energy of, I'm not sure whether to end something or not. Someone's offered something, but they're not sure whether to end something or not. Clarify the death card. Yeah, Four of Swords, giving some deep thought to this. Let's clarify the Tower. Two of Coins. Judgment. Clarify what this is, to, this defensive energy. Clarify the Seven of Wands. It feels like some significant decision here. Because somebody wants to be really happy. You know, there's an energy of, I want real happiness. And if it's not, if it's not with you, then 
let you know tell me the truth i mean it, it feels these conversations are going on here in terms of love romance relationships there is certainly an energy here however that somebody is overcoming some kind of barrier here clarify the seven of wands full new beginnings Let's do the Page of Cups. A little message. It's normally very positive. can be in terms of love. The Hermit. Card of Virgo. One more card with that one. The Moon. Lack of clarity, uncertainty. I've got the Four of Cups. Reversed. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the lover's choice in love. Libra, somebody wants real happiness. And there's this energy of just... What is holding someone back? What is holding you back from embracing this real happiness here? You know? Um, and I, I don't think it's you. I feel it's somebody that you're dealing with. I sense this energy of you're open to progressing some kind of relationship here. And I'm getting a lot of relationship energies, but we are in Libra season, which is all to do with relationships. Um, we have the four of, of pentacles here. Someone holding back, not wanting to give not wanting to give to this, or unable to give right now to this. The Seven of Cups is, you know, unclear about choices, decisions. I don't know which way to go because someone is holding back, is not giving me, or evolve, allowing our relationship to evolve. I'm hitting a brick wall with this person. That's what I'm getting here. And yet they're being offered real happiness and real joy. But it's almost like this energy of, I'm only prepared to give this much, you know? So, for example, Libra, if, if this is, and it feels to do with a relationship, um, someone might be saying, I want to get married. I want to get married. And it might well be all they're prepared to do is maybe offer you some kind of concession you know um well can we just buy a home together instead or uh you know it, it it just feels some kind of compromise will be required in the near future for this to work if you want it to work and that's the seven of cups i don't know do i explore my options i don't know right now in terms of what decision to make because someone's not budging and we do have the lovers here which is a choice or decision in terms of love romance relationships There's just a lack of clarity. Four of Cups is somebody's being offered something, but they're not sure whether they want it or not. Is this going to end? You know, is it going to end or not? I need to think about this. I don't think someone's ending this right now, but they're kind of like, is this really what I want? I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. These are thought energies. These are thinking energies. I need to get my head and my heart around this. Four of Swords, Four of Cups. We have the Tower, the Two of Pentacles and the Judgment Energy. I don't know what to do. I'm undecided. Um, there's a big decision to make here. A huge decision. Do I give this relationship? Do I stay with this person? Or do I go in a different direction? I don't know. Two of pentacles, I don't know. I'm still kind of like seesawing between the two. Do I let it all fall down, the tower? Do I let it all fall down and walk away? Because sometimes when the eight of cups appears, it's not everything that you want. It's almost like there's this desire, somebody really wants real happiness and there's this energy of 
why why can't I have that? There is an energy of some choice to do with the future here again. Choice, choice, choice energies. But there's also a recognition with this challenge if somebody needs to think carefully about this because there are karmic energies, you know, judgment, the death card, the tower card is there's really poignant, big um, repercussions in terms of how you move forward, how you do make some kind of decision or choice. So the message is here is choose very wisely, choose your path very carefully and make sure it's the right decision for you. Someone is, is defensive about taking that leap of faith. Tomo towards whatever this new beginning is, or when your next level may be, uh, it just feels in this energy Libra, you're, you're pushing against some kind of brick wall energy, and I'm, I'm definitely getting that in my own energy here as I'm touching the cards, it just feels like someone is immovable. I do feel that someone is going to give something to you. I do feel that there is going to be some kind of concession here, but I don't feel it's going to be everything that you want. You know, there's a feeling of I don't want to make the wrong decision but I'm not clear in terms of how I move forward. You know, you might be dealing with a Virgo, we have Pisces, we have, what are the cards, Gemini. Yeah, you might be dealing with one of those signs or that could be part of your energy. Um, this is just an energy if I need to think about it, I need to th go deep and think about this. I feel that there is some kind of concession that you're offered. And it feels some kind of positive, heartfelt concession. Somebody is conceding something here. Well, what if we do this? So I feel you're presented with some kind of... Um, someone's giving way a little bit, but they're not going to give everything. Because I, I just don't feel they're physically capable right now, Libra. I don't. I, this is just... I'm really feeling this energy of, of this is an ex accepting the situation for what it is. And that's what judgment is asking you to do. If you stay with this person, they are who they are. You know, they will only go so far on this journey with you. Um, they will only commit so much. They will only give so much. They will only give ground so much, but not everything. Um, and or you go in a different direction. And I feel that there's some significant decision to make. I definitely feel with the Page of Cups, this is an energy of... I, I, I do feel that there is some kind of gesture that you're being given. This can be this kind of gift energy. If I give you this, will that, will that make a difference? I think there's a choice to make, a decision here. Because this can also be an energy of, I need to think about it because I don't want to miss this opportunity. Um, and someone's just not clear now. They're uncertain about, I feel it's to do with the future. They're unclear in terms of how to move forward. I do feel in this energy that there is some kind of concession. And the judgment card is, is, is an energy of saying, you know, this is the situation. You know, so there is some kind of crossroads here with the two of wands. There is some choice to make. I don't feel someone is going to give everything, but I definitely feel in this energy that there is a way to overcome this, overcome this to some kind of new beginning or next level energy with this person, but it will involve some kind of compromise. It will. I don't know what past experience they've had here, Libra. It just feels like life has made them very cautious and they're not physically, I mean, they might be fighting with themselves here, but they, they just can't do it. They just can't go all the way right now. So I'm going to pull a final message, final message for Libra. Yeah, find balance. 
Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. I mean, it feels like spirit is, is whatever is going to bring balance back to this situation. Can you live with this compromise? And that's the question that only you can answer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.